So we're looking at then a crowding in of private sector investment and, you know, that happening vol voluntarily as opposed to uh, compelling private sector investment into our developmental needs. I've got to ask you, DG, before I let you go, what's your take on prescribed assets legislation here that compels pension fund managers to invest in uh, in government stock? Because that is something people are once again just struggling to make any sense of. Yeah, I think if you, from, from our perspective, uh, part of the um, reforms that we are introducing on the infrastructure space is precisely to allow the uh, private sector to invest in infrastructure provision uh, without us having to require any form necessarily of prescription. So, for example, if you start um, delivering the kinds of instruments that we were talking about in the budget last week, yeah. infrastructure bonds or special vehicles through which the private sector can participate in government investment, then you achieve the objective of greater leverage of pension fund and other assets uh, without having to resort to um, having to prescribe it, which is why there was such an emphasis in the budget on these unique infrastructure instruments that we'll be introducing in the coming months.